Good morning, it's Sunday. I'm back at this right, 16th of September 2018. I'm at Tyfer Arm at Great Cornard. I can still see some vehicles coming along the track there. You can see in the distance the water tower. Over there, you might see the two television transmitter masts. They are at Little Cornard, they're known as Subway Transmitters, they're at Little Cornard, Yordi Farm, Little Cornard from memory. The field we are today was first used and only used on the 30th of July 1961 for a grass track meeting, which the British champion of that time, Alf Hagen, won the Donald Steeter Trophy, which was presented for the first time trying to get a lot in. I was here at that time. Just above there, you might not see it. It's Chilton Church. We'll get another bit. I think over there is Grange Farm. But we'll get other pieces. <coughs> Today is the Dave Roper Memorial event. The event which is a fun day. We're about to start at 10 o'clock. Yeah, so hopefully you've had a look. The right, first race is going to start at 10 o'clock, but the first heat you have, you'll go off the line and follow Rick Roper, his travelling marshal, and it's going to be a sighting lap. You must not overtake him. And then as he comes round... <laughs> He's so slow! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think you'll be able to, but anyway, don't overtake him. And as you come past the, uh, the finish line, you'll see you filter back onto the the first corner and then go on for another lap as he peels off to the right you just carry on riding and that will be your first you know, your first heat until the checker flag comes out so it's like a practice if you like are you all clear on that okay um while heat one is going which is going to be youth heat two need to be going down to the line if you come out of the Park Ferme in the right corner, you'll see there's a bunch of arrows taking you down to the start, start line. You need to get down there as the others have left. So when you see them get going, you get down there. We've got limited time with ambulance and everything. They've got to go at a certain time, so we need to uh, keep it moving. The other thing is, obviously, first come, first served on, uh, grid posi on you know, gate position. So if you get down there early, you can choose where you want to go. Um, second heat will be <laughs> classed as a, you know, a, an actual race. It's not going to be scored, so we're not going to be lap scoring it. But it'll be a proper start, so you'll all be on the line. We'll have a man with uh, a green flag. He'll hold it on the floor when you're ready, uh, which will be when all the riders have finished going around the track. And then when the, when the flag comes off the floor, that marks the start. You'll have your hand on your helmet the one on your head and you will you're not supposed to put your head down by your clutch either none of that malarkey try and play the game and then obviously the flag will come up and off you go engines running Start it now, because Rick Roper leads the, the youngsters around, leads them a merry dance. Not sure where the track goes. There we go. I think there'd be any time in his life that would be head of, of youngsters. Because time to come, they'll all be in front of him. We got the last bike to go. Over the grass track to the field opposite. Which the club have used on a Sunday morning with a gathering of members. Back in the late 50s, 58, 59. It might have been 60. They go right over there, right to the Newton Road, which goes alongside here. 
as I said in the distance there is Chilton Church and over there Chilton Grange Farmhouse I believe it's Chilton Grange Farmhouse it might be Winthrop Hall and there's the industrial estate So I've gone into the other field Rick Roper is still in the lead Just imagine on that field where they are now we, we had our gathering we had a road racer AJS 7R belonged to Kenny Mallory Peter Ager had a Harley Davidson road bike and most of them were road bikes that we had Watch you see the top there. And here they come through. It's so nice to see these. First it being bang very good. And here they come round. And finish. These youths, well, champions of the future. And this is their warm up 15 minutes. One, there they go, I think Rick has come in now. And they can all go around. That's Jake Roper. Joe Phillips will be behind coming now. Through the GH arch. G. That looks number 20. Carl Will Belton, followed by Georgia Potter. One, two, eight. The club have made great use of these fields zigzagging around. Yeah, is it like Billy Sargent? Am I got that right? No, I haven't probably. I have it, it's Billy Sargent. It's coming through. No, it's not him again, is it? Yes, it's Jake Roper. Oh no. Who's behind him? Oh no, Joe Phillips. Number 34 has had a problem there. Is this is Archie Gunton. Georgia Potter. over the place here. And 
it's time to come in so short. The wind is up a bit blurry, so that being my uh, being the microphone here. Number 22, German Sergeant, local resident. Here we come. I think John, John Harker will play that. Really well. We'll go down to another lap. 27, that's Evan Herbert. 441 is Line up for the next uh, warm up. Well, saw that start there. Joe Phillips took the lead. Archie Gunton was second, and uh, Jack Roper third. And he was pushing, but he's got pushed back to fourth. So that's Joe Phillips down the lead, got a good lead. I think second is Jake Roper. He's there, that's his style. And they go again. This is this event is unscored as they say with Joe Phillips is buzzing. Got biggest thing to fight in the days of age. Jake's Hill 15, Joe 16. Archie's pushed back to third there. Talk to the wasps that's one man now. Here we come out, look at this. Oh! Jake Rover stalled it, he's caught right up to Joe Phillips, but now he hasn't. He stalled it on that lovely S bin. I think it could be. I'm going to under this here. It's really hard to happen. Georgia Popper on the score. I'm looking at my list. 1, 2, 8. We have 28. Uh, uh, Harry Pryor, I should say. All the two. I should know that one. But it's not there, I have it. 215, that's uh, Billy Sargent. All the twos must be a new one. Not my list. 27, Evan Herbert. I know that one. 22, Gemma Sargent. 946, Thomas Davis. Meanwhile, back at the front, Jake Roper is catching again, but we're going to get the better of it. 89, isn't that amazing? Where's he hot I'm not sure. I haven't got all the on here. Dobson. Not for 33 actually. Not sure where she is. I know where her mother is. Right there. And it's interesting again. Will he on the S bend? Will he? Will he get that right this time? Joe Phillips and Jake Rowan trying to ride that S bend a lot better. He must be a plumber. Yeah, that's it. Can't see if they've followed through yet. 
no change of position. Team Dave Roperman first, Team Dave Roperman second. Still, this is interesting. Georgia Potter just goes through there. Number 33, I'm seeing here that um, Freya Jolly and bike has stopped. What can we get? What can we get? Who can we get? The leaders. Where are the leaders? I've lost them. I've lost them. They're right down the bottom there. There they are. I think Shake, Shake has got by. By the looks of it, he's going to lap. He's got by Joe, wow. Joe was really holding him up. Gemma Sider goes through. 946 goes through. Wow. This is the one in front here now. That looks like the style of Jake Roper. He's got by, but he was making too many mistakes to try to get by. Now this S bend is his undoing at times. Now he's got that right. He's had plenty of time. There we go, number 17, Jake Roper. Followed by Joe Phillips, 441. Head and shoulders above everybody. I must have a good shampoo there. I just got there, Freya's back, Freya Jolly's back riding, she's got the bike going. Number 28, she's done, and I think she's in third place. Georgia Potter coming round, number 34, look at, look at that style. Oh, she nearly dropped it down the top. But great rider she is, great rider. Number 20 is Archie Gunton trying to show off a wheelie in front of the camera. Takes off his dad, I think. Number 30. These are the younger ones. Oh, no, no, over 12s. Georgia Potter there, 284. 222 is, uh, is Will Belton. Who, but number 27 here is Evan Herbert. 33, there's Fia Jolly, she's going. She enjoys her riding. There's split, split jeans down there. Name is Kaylee Ridge. Brother Kyle. Let's see if we can get anyone else. In the distance there, you've got... Here it comes. Jake Roper. Once he got past Joe Phillips, who was now holding him. He was making mistakes trying to get by. 89 and 1 to 8. Let him by there actually. It must be Joe Phillips, it is Joe Phillips. Followed by Will Belt, I think whether Will's been lapped, but he's riding two two twos, his bike. Stuart Phillips is ending his bike. That's Joe's father. That's his you, Rog. This is well taped, I see. <laughs> what have I done wrong? They're taping me in. Let me out! Let me out! <laughs> Who won by Billy Sargent? Great Cornite resident. Followed by Jim Sargent, 22. So the Sargents are there. And Roger Potter goes round, 284. 
Up to the road drive. Right? Round into the Newton Road straight. Trying to recognise trees around here. 57 years ago. Rick Rover's going so that they've finished. They have now finished. As the two sergeants there are battling against each other. Of course his sister Emma has let brother Billy in front. Joe Phillips has come around to finish now. To my left. goes round. Of course amendments are being made for safety reasons. 